and welcome to the second video uh, in the series of IoT. So in the second part, uh, we are just gonna briefly get into uh, details what we have previously discussed. So in this video particularly, we'll be focusing on uh, what is a definition, what is a vision of this IoT, then what are the different uh, hyperconnected devices or what is a hyperconnected devices what are smart devices what is a combination of this smart and hyperconnected devices then again uh, some of the iot conceptual framework then uh, we are just gonna get into an architectural perspective of uh, what are the different models that are being suggested by a world to us then uh, what is the technology behind this iot so we have just got into a brief idea of iot so just to kick start uh, kick start with a new framework and technology and all those things uh, we'll just again come back to our idea of what is a definition of uh, and what is a vision of your iot so in general uh, we had splitted our internet and our things so what is an internet what are the things so we'll just cover up definition first and later on we'll go to vision so the internet is actually a vast global network of your connected servers your computer tablets mobiles uh, and that is being governed by your standard protocols for a connected system it enables your sending, receiving, or communication of information, uh, or a com connectivity with your remote server, cloud, uh, analytics platform. So this is your internet. And what are the things? Things in English has uh, uh, various uses or various meanings. In dictionary, thing is a uh, word used to describe simply like. Uh, uh, physical objects or an action or an idea uh, a situation or activity so in our case uh, it's more prominent to use uh, thing uh, to be like an object so for example in uh, any object like uh, if you'll consider some example of a smart city and if you want to implement uh, um, simply like uh, what we could say a uh, street light uh, there are many sensors then obviously street light is referred as a thing what do you want to control a thing so what is that it's a street light so that's why street light is referred as a thing so uh, it's simply like a reference to an action uh, such as this is called as a thing so thus combining both terms uh, it, there comes a definition of your internet of things so internet of things means a network of physical things or we could say a uh, object sending receiving or communicating information using your internet or communication technologies and network just as the computers tablets mobile do and thus enabling uh, and monitoring uh, or coordinating controlling processes across the internet or other data network uh, or few of the sources uh, define your iot uh, in a different manner uh, they say simply like internet of thing is a network of physical devices uh, embedded with your electronic software sensor connectivity to enable uh, to achieve greater values and services by exchanging data with a uh, like your manufacturer operator so yes obviously this thing is also correct but it has to uh, it has to be able to uh, interoperate within an existing internet infrastructure then only we could say this is an iot so now what is a vision to an iot the internet of thing is a vision where uh, things like your wearable devices or even it's your alarm clock home devices surrounding objects become smart and they function like living entities by sensing computing communicating through an embedded devices uh, which will interact with the remote objects like several clouds applications services processes or a number of person 
through the internet or like your nfc uh, near field communication etc uh, the vision uh, of iot uh, would be better if i'll just take a reference of few of the example so these examples i have picked up from uh, one of the book by uh, raj uh, kamal so it's a reference book for your iot so from that raj kamal uh, i have uh, read two examples so first example was related to uh, umbrella and second one was related to your smart city like a uh, street light so first example is uh, like you have an umbrella and you need to make it like a living entity make a, I, a iot application so by installing a embedded device uh, which interacts with a web based uh, weather service and then a device owner through an internet uh will get some kind of actions uh the umbrella embedded with a circuit for a purpose of computing and communicating uh connects to an internet a website regularly uh sends some weather report to that umbrella umbrella receives that report each morning analyzes the data and uh, it issues a reminder to an owner owner simply like uh, for example um, it's a sunny day uh and so for example uh, you use some kind of led strips to uh, that umbrella so uh, as soon as you get near to that particular umbrella and uh, if it is a sunny day so it will flash like uh, yes it's a red led they'll start to blink so the person will understand yes today is a sunny day so i think uh, my umbrella is telling me that uh, i need to pick her up that this is gonna be a sunny day so i need to take precaution uh, another way could be like uh, yes it's gonna rain so uh, you have deployed some kind of uh, led strip which will blink like yellows uh, whenever the data comes out to be like it maybe it's gonna rain so uh, your umbrella will blink like yellowish so the owner would understand oh yes today it's gonna rain so i think my umbrella is telling me then you need to pick me up it's gonna rain today so even like a reminder can be sent to owner's phone like at a preset time uh, before leaving office using uh, your nfc or a bluetooth or sms so whichever way you could tell me a better way to understand this thing so likewise uh, these could be managed Uh, another example is like uh, street light so for example like uh, <clears throat> i don't want to get into like directly into an conceptual framework so let me just clear out some of the things like your smart and uh, what we could say hyper connected devices so for that uh, we'll take one more so that so how we could make that uh, so we could just sense it and compute it using small embedded tiny devices that will communicate and interact with the central control command station so we'll just uh, while we are talking we'll just draw the thing uh, one by one so obviously first we'll need to have a control station or we'll in a simple language we'll say there has to be a control room to control all these things then uh, okay so there has to be an internet to connect these devices so obviously whenever it's an iot there has to have a internet then there are multiple nodes or in general we could say multiple street lights are there so we are just dividing into an different groups so likewise uh, i have decided here like this is one uh, this is first group this is second group uh this one is supposed to be a third and this is supposed to be a fourth one so this is street light street light street light and so on so these are different street lights so uh, while we think as an iot application we could not simply uh, see like yes i want to deploy like uh, 100 of uh, street lights so i'll just make sure ki theek hai 
uh, I, there has to be a internet there has to be a nodes and uh, I'll just simply connect them I'll put some kind of sensors so one say data jayega to an uh, internet and internet will or uh, that cloud and cloud will share it with the control room so this should not be a way of uh, operating with your iot application so iot applications are simply like yes you have street light don't directly connect every street light to an internet instead just divide it among some uh, groups then uh, put some kind of controllers there so let's just put a controller here so controller one for set of one and two and uh, controller two for this three and four so now you will say yes there is a connection between this thing so street light one and controller street light two and a controller street light three and a controller but no obviously each street light would have a connection with your controller whatever designated controllers are there in a bi-directional mode so I'm not gonna complete all the connections I'm just explaining you roughly so whenever we say our community or it will be an application it should not be simply a one node you should understand that what is happening with the next node so in this scenario we have connected now each led to everyone so now it's an interconnection of different nodes so now what is happening here is actually these are actually called as your uh, obviously i just forgot one thing that from this controller there has to be a connection to an internet then only it will work as an iot now we'll say you have forgot one more thing to control room no obviously it has to have a wireless or wired network but i'll prefer wireless obviously everyone will prefer wireless because it's an internet of things so control room internet your nodes your controllers these are actually all the entities associated with your entire application so this is just a rough uh, or you could say this is use of your internet of thing concept for a street light in a city so this is just a basic hierarchy so whenever it comes out to be like this this is called as hyper connected network okay so i'll just write it down so this is called as your hyper connected devices or a network so i'll better say devices so these are called as hyper connected devices so what is hyper connected devices so in general hyper connectivity as per a dictionary it means like a use of multiple system or devices to remain uh, constantly connected to social network or a stream of information so in general hyper connectivity means uh constant connectivity between devices network server or a multiple system okay so smart devices are devices with a computing and communicating capability okay so in this kind of uh, uh, scenario or in this kind of hyper connected devices uh, what happens is smart devices these are actually devices uh, with a computing and communication capability and that can be uh, constantly connected to your network for example a city network <coughs> sorry a city network of a street light which constantly connects to a controlling station uh, as we have already uh, seen that uh, for its service and another thing is like uh, you have multiple devices that have been organized in this fashion and then it is called as your RFID system so these are actually hyper connected system then you will ask you what is a, a smart uh, uh, smart devices then so smart devices in general uh, if you want to say the smart devices alone can't work so obviously there has to be a general framework for these kind of smart devices or uh, we could say 
even smart devices cannot work alone so that's why we generally prefer smart plus hyper connected devices so whichever general framework uh, we design we design for a smart plus hyper connected devices so <coughs> sorry <coughs> So, in general, what will happen in uh, that kind of application then? So, obviously, different from this, now we need to become smart. So, obviously, a uh, general framework would be like, uh, there will be an application, one layer. Uh, there will be uh, like edge computing, edge computing then third segment there will be your main sensors like rfid would be there there will be a bluetooth there will be a wireless sensor network and etc etc so here it will be a network opportunity of 3g 4g or 5g or whatsoever or like your uh, even you could say your internet your wi-fi so between application and edge computing there will be these networks so what is this edge computing so this is something new so edge computing is not simply like uh, it, it's simply like uh, there is a data element analysis data element analysis and transformation unit so edge computing is now is a combination of your data element analysis and transformation unit okay and now what is the connection orientation with RFID and all these sensors so there will be a multiple node connected to this edge computing unit okay so here it could be like your bluetooth zigbee and anything that you know like uh, or you could say your nfc would be there so they will be connected in this segment between this your uh, sensors and your edge computing unit so it will be in between so these kind of uh, general framework are uh, used for uh, or these are for iot using your smart and hyper connected devices uh, so these were a general discussion about uh, definition or vision or different uh, what is mean by your hyper connected devices but now we'll actually get our hands dirty into uh, getting into a conceptual framework so what is a conceptual framework so it comes up with a three different definitions of it so the first definition comes out uh, simply like with a uh, we'll just name it out number one equation this is your number two equation and number three equation so that it will be easy for us to move ahead so in general uh, in an example of a single object like uh, whenever we said simply like uh, our um, umbrella app, uh, application at that point it was a single object like umbrella there was no multiple umbrellas I have just said it's a simple one umbrella which is actually communicating with a central server for acquiring data so these kind of application will be more uh, precisely described with the kind of uh, equation which is like there will be a physical ob object there will be a controller there will be a sensor and actuator and internet so this combinedly becomes your IoT so in a case of umbrella we could say the physical object was your umbrella the controller were obviously embedded with your umbrella and it was sensing using your nfc or simply like that and obviously it was connected to your internet 
for an for grabbing an information and it had become a iot application so this is just a simple equation or a conceptual framework ka uh, we could say a small segment or small equation to design your particular application so in the first equation Uh, it conceptually uh, describes your application of your single unit or a single object uh, and generally iot consists of uh, inter network of devices physical objects wherein a number of objects can gather a data at a remote location and communicate to a uni uh, units managing acquiring organizing analyzing uh, the data in the processes and uh, we could say in a services so in a second example of uh, what we had discussed of a street light uh, we have seen that uh, street light communicating to a data group uh, to an controller which connects to a central server using an internet a general framework consists of a uh, number of devices communicating data to a data center uh, or an Uh, we could say an enterprise or a cloud server the iot framework of iot uh, we could say what will be a better word the iot framework of uh, iot used in a number of application as well as in a enterprise or business processes is therefore uh, in in general it's more complex than a represented by uh, whatever is our first equation so whatever we are just saying like uh, yes there is a umbrella there is a sensor then there is a actuator then there is internet so in real life the first equation does satisfy some of the application but the quantity would be minimal so at that point this equation will not satisfy your every application and whenever uh, the nodes uh, node gets multiplied with a factor of like 10 20 30 40 100 100. at that point the equation 1 will not help you much so that framework will fail so at that point you need to actually move on to second equation so which comprises like uh, your gather enrich stream manage acquire organize and analyze so this comprise and it will provide you result with iot with connectivity to data center enterprise and a cloud server so now it becomes uh, or looks like yes it looks slightly promising so what this equation tells it's an actually iot framework for enterprise processes or services based on suggested iot arch architecture which is given by oracle so this was actually being given by oracle so obviously uh, there will be few steps that are to be considered so at a level 1 uh, oh, these are actually uh, we could say these are equation uh, yes this is just one equation in one equation this gather is one level this enrich is second level the stream is third level so and so on so these multiple levels can be individually applied or it could be merged up simply like here we have merged up organize and analyze so it's not necessary that this plus is being uh, separating these kind of different steps this is just to make some kind of a formulation they have been divided so at a level 1 data of the devices or we could say a uh, things uh, using sensors or uh, using uh, different uh, things gather to pre data from a internet so will require some data for that a sensor connected to a gateway uh, functions as a smart sensor and smart sensor refers to a sensor which is actually uh, having a computing and communication capability uh, the data then uh, enriches to level 2 for example by transcoding at a gateway and uh, i hope uh, transcoding you know uh, even not then i'll uh, tell you the transcoding means coding or decoding before data transfer between two entities uh then a communication management subsystem sends or receives data stream at level 3 okay and at a, uh, after level 3 device management identity management and access management subsystem receives data at level 4 
and uh, a data source or uh, we could say data store or database acquired at data uh, acquires the data at level 5 and then data is rooted from the devices and things organizes and analyzes at level 6 the example data is analyzed uh, or we could say uh, for collection of business intelligence or business processes then third equation which is actually again a more important parameter or an equation so it consists of your gather consolidate connect collect uh, then assemble then manage and analyze so this comes out to be a internet of things with connectivity to cloud services so the equation uh, is actually an alternative conceptual representation for a complex system so it is actually based on your IBM so this was your Oracle this was your basic what we we could say a layman and this third one is for IBM IoT so yes uh, IBM IoT conceptual framework is this then this entire equation uh, shows kind of uh, action and communication of data at successive levels of IoT the framework manages the IoT services using data from uh, uh, what we could say the inter network of devices objects internet and the cloud services and represents the flow of data from IoT devices from like managing IoT services to the cloud server so this equation uh, represents a complex conceptual framework uh, using your what we could say the platform based uh, processes and services so it also has some of the steps as follows the steps are like level 1 and 2 is consist of a sensor network and they gather and consolidate the data the first level gathers the data of the things or devices using sensor circuit the sensor connects to a gateway data then consolidates to a second level for example a transformation in the gateway at level 2 the gateway at level 2 communicates the data stream between level 2 and 3 and the system uses communication management subsystem at level 3 and information service consists of a connect collect assemble manage uh, subsystem at the level 3 and 4 the services render from level 4 a real time uh, series analysis data analytics uh, intelligent subsystem are also at level 4 and 5 uh, a cloud infrastructure or a data store or a database acquired at level 5 so we'll just move on with the actual diagrammatic scenario because uh, i think uh, these words will not make much sense to you guys then uh, will I think diagrammatic approach will be more better so yes so I think uh, this diagram is actually quite kind of having a ghost image from backend because I have just scanned it from a book so I think it would be manageable fine so uh, what is this so this is actually a conceptual framework for your uh, suggested by your IBM for IoT so in this uh, conceptual framework uh, what we could say is uh, there are actually various conceptual framework in IoT uh, they find a number of applications including one in uh, your M2M communication network variable devices then uh, city lighting security surveillance and home automation and smart systems so these different nodes which consist of a smart devices or a smart objects uh, they do have uh, user interfaces or different uh, applications so iot uh, ibm conceptual framework uh, they have a different components in general uh, these things refer to an inter um, what you could say inter network of devices or physical objects so these framework consist of a number of subsystem and the data is acquired at a remote location uh, in the database or a data store 
uh, the services and processes need to be managing and acquiring organizing and analyzing so whatever we have discussed with those equations they were actually uh, the equation number three was gather consolidate connect collect assemble manage and analyze which is in a better way they have been represented in the different layers so as i have already told that some of the layer might get merged up so this is your actually a level one and two this is level one level two but in general uh, when i have explained you this thing so this is actually your one thing and this is actually your second thing but in general if we'll get into a simply like uh, equation formats in that case there are one two three four and five so these are the different segments for a ibm iot so what is that so like in uh, sensory level uh, there is a smart sensor there is a sensor so you will say what is a smart sensor and sensor both are do both have to be a smart then what is a sensor and smart sensor so obviously uh, for example like uh, if i'll say you that you need to go and purchase uh, simply like uh, 12 watt led light uh, in general of your sis uh, 12 watt ka sis ka and of panasonic like for example so panasonic doesn't have a smart led so you just purchase a basic uh, element of it and if you'll select like Cisco, which it, which does have a smart led so what is the difference between these and this so obviously both do have a different application framework they have iot communication framework or any sensor would have this both thing but smart sensor will have some of the capabilities to get your data into directly digital but these sensor will give you uh, some of the sensor will directly give you in digital or some of them will say no you need to convert them back to some other form before you transfer it to a gateway so but for in general case the smart sensor or a sensor they'll have an application framework and as well as a communication framework so which then transfers the data to an gateway which will then consolidating uh, your data and again there will be again a iot framework which is being then passed on to your network there will be some brokers like a mqdt broker or handler or these are actually a protocols then then message router so whatever message will be there then related to that this process will be there then again if it comes out to be an security then there has to be a firewall to a network then there will be a data registry then what to collect where to store and all those things will be informed then there will be a database firewall then obviously whenever you collect uh, collect some kind of data there has to be a processes to follow up this kind of thing so when it comes out to a data firewall then again it has to be managed properly there has to be a proper circulation of data there has to be intelligence in a memory then there has to be a storage then there has to be sql so obviously whenever uh, it comes out to be a databases then then there will be a no sql then there will be a special storages and different analytics related terms will be there so these overall thing comes out to be simply like this is just a conceptual framework so you can fit in any application to make it sure that it will be a iot framework so iot framework architecture these are different parameters and you can fit in any application in these kind of frameworks so what is there to uh, uh, in this ibm iot so ibm iot conceptual framework uh, components does have that capability to acquire organize analyze so these are just being suggested frameworks so while designing you guys could uh, move on to like simply step one that there will be a i don't want to create simply like i don't want to refer oracle or ibm or whatever that i triple standard uh, is there in existence so uh, if i want i could follow oracle uh, ibm or cisco or i triple so whichever thing you want you could follow that way so they are just suggested things so these are just a conceptual frameworks in real there could be something different and this is actually your iot reference model 
which is being suggested by your Cisco so this is again uh, if you will see uh, top down approach or whatever things lower to upper approach so in this level 1 to level 7 if you will see these are just a uh, general understandable things that you could easily understand so these are like there will be a sensor there will be a connectivity then there will be your transformation unit then there will be a storage then aggregation unit then uh, your application will be there so through which your uh, reporting analysis and control function will be executed then obviously at the end there will be a collaboration processes from where you will uh, just execute your processes so this is actually typically we could say that yes this is actually quite simpler than the previous one but again this is just a reference model suggested by cisco and this one was your ibm iot conceptual framework so there is a slight difference between them now again comes uh, another example of conceptual framework of oracle iot so uh, in some of the cases or in some of the conceptual frameworks some of the thing gets aggregated like level 1 level 2 in a previous case was getting merged in this case simply like uh, if i want to introduce new device to a network so i just want to uh, have a hand checking mechanism with a uh, security aspect then i can just add those things to a network through an intelligent gateway then there will be a communication network through which uh, it will be a platform based connection that uh, there will be a device management connectivity data model so this connection platform would be there then there will be a event processing integration security blah 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 so many of the this services or uh, we could say application oriented services would be there so at that point oracle has suggested different model so if you feel like yes for my uh, application this would be a better uh, segment to understand or it will be easy or better to manage my services then yes you could use a oracle stuff so we'll just move on to next so actually we'll get down to uh, oracle's iot architecture so now we are now into an architectural view of oracle so what oracle has suggested uh, is a reference model that could identify uh, to specify reference architecture several reference architecture to coexist in uh, this iot domain but uh, we'll just we are just seeing few of them which are being uh, primarily focusing on everything because many models are suggested there so this oracle suggested iot architecture uh, does have some of the features like this architecture serves as a reference in application of iot which are being used in services and business processes uh, a set of sensors which are smart they capture a data perform necessary data element analysis then uh, and transformation as per the device application framework and uh, connect directly to a communication manager a set of sensor circuitry is connected to a gateway processing uh, separate data capturing gathering computing and communication capability the gateway receives the data in one form at the one end and sends it to the other form at the other end obviously it's kind of a transducer so uh, it will receive in a one form like in a, a physical quantity and then it will convert back to your electrical quantity so uh, communication management uh, subsystem has a different protocol handlers message router message cache will be there so these kind of levels will have a different uh, functionality then again it will be simply like uh, in a management subsystem the functionality will be there simply like identify a database then there will be uh, like a device identity management access management will be there so what is this layer is all about so obviously if i introduce some new node into this uh, entire application or it is not being introduced for example you consider that it is not being introduced by me it is by someone else so if that new device is, is being replaced or being added so the acknowledgement of that device or identity of that device should be somewhere there otherwise it will be a trouble for me that anyone would come and enter into my network or uh, they just simply deploy or replace their sensor with mine then 
or mine with them so simply that will be a identity based issue then obviously if the new device is being introduced and that has to be informed to a database through these particular protocols or these kind of architecture so obviously that data should be stored that how many sensors i have been deploying into my network so what this framework suggests is uh, for example uh, there has to be a 32 different sensor then obviously for all 32 the device identity register should have all the entries of them and their behavior so then the data routes from a gateway through an internet uh, then data center to an application server or uh, enterprise server which acquires the data then organization and analysis subsystem will uh, enable a services business processes enterprise integration and other complex processes so these are actually a uh, simplest versions of uh, architecture but we could say more uh, pronouncedly we could say uh, it's very good to understand but as well as a uh, for a security perspective we need to understand that these are the important parameters that we need to consider while designing these kind of architectures otherwise uh, what will happen is if we do not consider these uh, threats so obviously it will not be an internet of things it will be an internet of threats just because there is always a threat while designing this iot application because no one considers the security aspect of these devices because they do pursue some kind of a important information and still there is a security lag so that's why oracle even ibm they suggested a different parameters or different architectures so they are just a suggested architecture if you want you could modify it to something else so this is all about your different devices and architecture that are being considered and even like uh, uh, there is something called as your uh, there is one more standard which i am not getting into in detail which is actually ieee p2413 standard so which is actually which provides uh, what we could say a reference architecture for uh, different application iot application reference architecture for iot application so if you want uh, details of it you could google it out and you could get a different uh, details about it but that uh, but while searching just don't search for just p2413 because on google if you will search p2413 then it will uh, result in simply like uh, some exhaust system related uh, device which is being installed in a car which is also called as your p2413 so instead just get into and details of ieee p2413 standard you will just get an architectural framework uh, which is actually a reference model that uh, defines the relationship among different iot verticals for example transportation and healthcare uh, so p2413 exactly uh, what they will uh, provide is like it will follows a top down approach consider like a top layer design first and then move on to the lowest and uh, it does not define new architecture but uh, uh, reinvent existing architecture congruent within it uh, congruent with it uh, so uh, it also gives a blueprint to a data abstraction then it specifies a abstract to a iot domain for various iot domains then it recommends a quality uh, quadruple trust that includes like a protection security privacy and safety and it addresses how to document your things then it strives for a mitigation of architecture divergence so scope of ieee p2413 standard defines uh, an architectural framework for iot it includes description of various iot domains definition and iot domain abstraction and identification for uh, different iot domains the smart manufacturing smart grid smart buildings and etc so this is actually a standard defined by your ieee p2413 standard okay so this is all about your different iot architectures and now we are at the end of our iot so this diagram will summarize the entire uh, application of your iot so it totally completes your iot so it comprises of your different software components different hardware components so uh, in general we have 
we have just started from here iot and we were just talking about the end application but now we have now know each step that is being followed in iot so each segment we know at a better cost so what are the different uh, hardware that uh, hardware that we have discussed were like uh, arduino raspberry pi intel galileo then there is a beagleborn black then there is a wireless soc then there is a bosch uh, simply like as uh, x dk 110 then there is arm embed then there is intel galileo intel edison so there are numerous different hardware are there simply like even there is a uh, ids are simply like uh, for development of your device software firmware apis then there are protocols so uh, many protocols are there like uh, your rpl is there then there is a coap then there is a rest full is there then there is your mqtt broker is there then there is xmpp is there um, uh, like your extensible messaging and presence protocol is there uh, then even there is a communication like your power line ethernet is there your rfid is there and then uh, there is a uwb is there wi-fi is there bluetooth is there so there are various things which are available for a connection then again uh, for communication you need to uh, have a network backbone so which is has to be uh, ipv4 ipv6 udp 6 low pan softwares are there even um, quantic os is there then eclipse iot is there uh, uh, riot os is there then again uh, there is an internet uh, internet or cloud platforms are there simply like sense is there nimtis is there things works is there tcs cup is there then azure is there cisco iot then ibm blue mix is there uh, aws iot is there so these are a different uh, cloud platforms those uh, work for these uh, these are the technologies behind your iot so now you will ask a question that uh, uh, is there uh, any chance that machine learning could be used yes obviously the machine learning algorithms and software they have been already used an example of machine learning software is like a uh, grok from uh, Numenta Incorporation that uses a machine intelligence to analyze your uh, streaming data from your clouds and uncover um, anomalies uh, that has ability to learn continuously from your data and ability to drive your action from output of Grok's data model. So uh, this is actually a high level of automation for analyzing and streaming data. So these were the different elements that we have associated with this entire iot application so i hope that you understood what is the iot what are the different applications what are the cons what are the pros what are the security aspect what is the technology behind your iot what are the different protocols are there what are different architectures what are the what we could say a reference model was there so these all sums up to and your iot or ioe so internet of things or internet of everything so these are some key factors or key elements that have been covered in a video one for your iot and this current video of iot so i hope uh, you find this particular thing useful so i would say wish you a best of luck see you in the next video with some more information with another topic thank you Hi and welcome to the second video uh, in the series of IoT. So in the second part, uh, we are just gonna briefly get into uh, details what we have previously discussed. So in this video particularly, we'll be focusing on uh, what is a definition, what is a vision of this IoT, then what are the different uh, hyperconnected devices or what is a hyperconnected device.